What do you think are the strangest things that animals eat? Well, whatever you can think of, reality gets you every time, and even weirdest stuff. In today's top 10, we're gonna see the 10 strangest things found inside animals. Get ready, because believe us, you're gonna be surprised, to say the least. First is cute but expensive. We love terriers, and we love rubber duckies. When we think of the combination of the two, we imagine a picture of a cute terrier playing with a rubber ducky. Oh, it's so sweet, but what happens when the cute little terrier actually swallows the cute little rubber ducky? Something that's not so cute, and something that cost owners more than a thousand pounds. When Spike, the Patterdale Terrier, started becoming lethargic, the owners got anxious about what was happening to their little fluff ball of energy, and they straight away took him to the vet. The vet, surprised, discovered the dog had swallowed not one, but a couple of rubber duckies, and they got stuck in his small intestine. Thankfully, Spike survived, but the family avoided buying any more rubber duckies. Number two is treasure without a map. From all the impossible places where you can think you'll find some hidden treasure, this next one is definitely something you've never thought about. A fisherman managed to trap a tiger shark. We're not gonna discuss the ethical part of this, thank you very much, but he was happy as happy can be with such a catch, but his luck was not done. When he started cutting the shark into pieces, not discussing the ethical part of that either, he found out the big fellow had actually swallowed a bag containing money. Imagine not only the surprise, but the delight of that fisherman when he found out he had literally killed two birds with one stone. Uh, okay, not literally, but you know what we mean. So how you holding up so far? We hope you haven't eaten before you watch the video because some of these things coming up, yeah, they're really not very appetizing. Are you ready to continue? Well, you better be. Number three, when you're that old. Do you know the feeling when you're cold and, uh, you know, one blanket's just not enough? Not even two, not three, you just want something extra warm. Well, Houdini would definitely understand. And we're not talking about the escapist, but we're talking about a Burmese python named after him. Confused? Well, so was Houdini the python. His owner gave him an electric blanket to regulate his temperature, but Houdini decided that wasn't enough. He ate the whole thing. And if you think that Burmese pythons are some of the largest in the world, then you can actually understand how he managed to fit it all in. Now, as to why he did that, we don't really know. We'd like to think the poor chap was just too cold for comfort. But thankfully, after major surgery to remove the blanket, Houdini returned to his home in comfort and never nagged again about being cold. Or at least we guess that's the case. Number four is, oh dear. Yeah, you might have heard the pun before, but what about the story? Which is definitely not one of our cute ones. And by the way, be prepared. A taxidermist named Ken Owens handled skinning and cleaning of an alligator found close to his place in Otogwaville, Alabama. While he was going on with business as usual, he discovered something that was not clearly very usual. He cut open the alligator's stomach and found a deer inside. No, not small pieces, but the whole thing. The taxidermist could understand from the jawbone the deer was about three years old. So if you're wondering if it was a baby, it wasn't. Apart from the deer, he found a couple of squirrels, some cow left over, and some other bones, along with some vegetation. You gotta have your greens, people. And some rocks, but you ain't gotta have those people. So that's a big appetite, if we ever saw one. Now we're almost in the middle of the video, so it's a good time to remind you, if you like the video, well, you're gonna enjoy all the other ones we have on the channel. And remember, check it out when you're done here. And also, we would really appreciate it if you'd give us the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our new top tens. Are you ready? Let's go. Number five, how? No, seriously, how? I mean, this story just gets weirder as it goes. If you have a good answer as to how it all happened, would you write that in the comments because we're so confused? Oh, it's as confused as we could possibly be, but here it goes. A tiger shark was caught somewhere close to Florida. Good till now? We're good. What was inside his stomach? A whole chicken coop. What? D did I hear you right? Yes, an entire chicken coop. And now the questions start. 
How did he eat the whole thing? Where'd the chicken coop come from? Why was it in the ocean? Was it in the ocean? Was the shark on the land? What's happening here? Number six, kinky cod. Step away from the screen if you're a small kid or get shocked easily. Or, you know, don't. Do whatever you want. We're not your parents. But when Bjorn Freeland, a fisherman from Norway, caught a 50 kilo cod, oh, he was kind of happy and he weirded out. But it seemed like the cod had a big bump in his stomach. So curious, he reached in and pulled out two herrings that were not very well digested and a dildo. Yeah, you heard me correctly. A big orange vibrator was the gift the cod gave the fisherman. And we really hope he kept that unused. Now, who would toss a vibrator in the ocean? I don't know. But we can probably guess the cod thought it was some kind of octopus thing and he went for it. Little or not so little, if we can judge from the image, did he know. Number seven is disgusting. The pun is even more terrible than the story. So you're welcome. It really can't get any worse than that. Some researchers in Ecuador managed to capture a species of frog named the Little Devil Frog, which if you're wondering how it got its name, it's because it's a bright orange poisonous little thing. Their plan was to see what the frog had eaten so they could figure out how this species creates the alkaline used in chemical defense. They insert a soft tube in the frog's mouth, fill it with water, the frog vomits, who could blame him? And the researchers started explaining and examining what he'd eaten. What did they discover? It's a new freaking species. The frog apparently had eaten undocumented species of an ant, and now we have a new, different level of ew. Well, we've made it to the top three. Are you curious to see if we kept the best for last? Because let us give you a hint. We most certainly did. Enjoy, my weird little friend. Number eight, sunfish reporting. Now let's go back in time a little to show you how zoologist Edward Ramsey made a very interesting discovery. The year is 1882. It's close to Christmas and the place, Sydney Harbor. A huge three meter tall sunfish is seen struggling between vessels and shallows and some people thought, oh, it'll be a great idea to hack it about the head and pectoral fin with an ax. Thankfully, not quick enough to save it. Somebody stepped in and had the poor fella sent to the Australian Museum where he was gutted and then sent to London to be exhibited. After this, it ended up at the basement of the Natural History Museum. Now let's spring forward to 2016, when curators performed a restoration on the inside of the sunfish only to find pieces of floor beam, the seat of a wicker chair, and a piece of newspaper from the January 26, 1883 edition of the Sydney Morning Herald. What's even more astonishing? The fish itself is mentioned in the same edition of the newspaper. We have to admit that the first curators who restored the fish had a very weird sense of humor. Number nine, the not so bright golden retriever. It's supposed to be one of the brightest dog breeds in the world, but this particular golden probably missed the memo. Cody. The young golden retriever of our story started vomiting mysteriously, and his owners, of course, rushed him to the vet to see what's wrong. They couldn't believe their eyes when they saw the x-ray of their dog's stomach, and it had an entire whole light bulb inside. Not broken, by the way. It's a mystery why the dog decided this was such a bright idea. <gasps> yes, we did make that joke, and we're not sorry. Number 10, the ostrich that was just plain weird. Three odd cotton gloves, three handkerchiefs, the wood center of a silk spool, a piece of lead pencil, four half pennies, one franc, one farthing, one coin too worn out for identification, uh, part of a bicycle valve, part of a metal comb, a piece of wood, two yards of string, an alarm clock key, uh, yeah, several small metal washers and some other pieces of metal and a four inch nail. So what is this superbly bizarre list? This is what came out of the stomach of a dead ostrich that lived at the London Zoo back in the 1930s. The poor guy's autopsy showed somehow that he had managed to eat all those things, but it was ultimately the nail that did the ostrich in. Now, how exactly did it find them and why on earth did it 
it, it, did it think it was a good idea to eat all these things? We don't know. I mean, did the ladies of the era think it was a good idea to throw a glove in an ostrich or a part of a bicycle valve for crying out loud? In any case, thankfully, the London photographer Frederick William Bond saw how bizarre this story was, and he did document it for posterity. And this is how we know about the amazing appetite of the long-ago ostrich. Well, there you have it for today. That's top 10 strangest things found inside animals. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one did you like the most and why? I mean, come on, give us your theory about the shark and the chicken coop thing. I'm seriously baffled. And don't forget to also like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, keep safe and keep being curious.